fixing to head out the door. If I can get my oldest one to get in here. Brayden, come on! He's watching some temps, some YouTube video. I don't know what he's watching, but um, I've got a few errands I got to do, and go pick up some of that delicious Olive Garden salad dressing. Tonight we're gonna have New York strips, and I'm doing a salad and a loaded. Did you um turn off your fan? No. Um, I'm gonna make New York strips. The salad with Olive Garden salad dressing. And then I'm going to do a loaded um, mashed potato casserole. And I don't know if we're going to have any like breadsticks or not. I don't know. I'll keep my own mind on that. And then a chocolate pudding cake. So it's going to be good. I can't wait. And at 2 o'clock, we got to take the boys to the Lego Club at the library today. I need to watch it's that. Gonna be fun. Yep, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be the first time going. Yes, all there is is uh, they told us what we do is you they have five or six big bins full of Lego parts, and you get to build and talk and uh, show people your stuff. Uh, what you build? Mm -hmm. Cool. Trying to get some pancake syrup off the table. We've had a problem with ants, and I've got to pick up something at Walmart while we're there. They're just coming in from in my crook and cranny, and I've got to get something because they're not like bad ants. They're just those little bitty sugar ants. So I knew if I would have left that little bit of syrup on the table from breakfast this morning, the ants probably would have been on all over the table by the time we would have got home, so... So yeah, we're gonna get all this done. I'm so out of breath. I really needed a cup of coffee. I drank one, but I usually have two. I need another one. Uh, maybe I can make it though. All right, guys, we're gonna get off here and I'm gonna drive these boys to Walmart. And, and get our day started. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye. You could go down to the table and get some more. Oh, fine. Where's the He's still sleeping and he's laughing. You better wake up, you sleepy head. See, I can't sleep, Bubba. Uh uh, -uh quit. He's sleeping. You better wake up. You better wake up. Are you enjoying your chocolate biscuits and gravy? Are your biscuits and chocolate gravy you gonna do cheese? Mm. Is it good? Mmm. Yours is over here by me. You done got it all over your mm. bottle. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> you are so silly, boy. He does his Ooh. cheese face. Dad should be coming home with me. You and that cheese face. Ooh! Peace out. Ooh! Look 
how nice and clean that water is from y'all getting in and out of it. Mm -hmm. Now it's fine. I think we need to get a bigger pool. Yeah. That, the baby's pool is just not big enough for all y'all. Oh, look, you didn't make it come out. I didn't know. <laughs> oh, wait, me. Wait. Are you helping Mama cook? Stir it up. Yeah. Oh, what are we cooking? We're cooking bird and penguin and block. That's a nice mix. That's going to be so good to eat. Mmm. Good morning. We are currently waiting on the doctor to call back. I am so scared. What are you wanting? Are you wanting to hold the camera? Now, let's hold it back this way so we can see. He is so irritable. Uh, I'm waiting for the doctor to call back because I think this poor little man has hand, foot, and mouth. Um, the only place that he has been with other children is Sunday school. You see the fly? Um, yesterday I noticed him, he was broke out around the bottom of his feet, on, on top of his feet, and then up his legs, and then he has a few places on his diaper area, which I thought, that was first, and I thought it might have been, um, a little bit of diaper rash, but then yesterday, when we made a trip to Walmart, I noticed his legs and stuff was broke out. Well, his hands and stuff was fine, and he's woke up this morning, and his hands and arms are broke out. This is what it looks like. His little toe, he messed a little, his little toe. But he has, I don't know if it's gonna focus, it's all over his feet, and it goes up his little legs. That's what that leg looks like. And his arms. So, I, I think that's what he's got. My gut is really telling me that he has a hand, foot, and mouth. Um, so, I don't know. The, they wouldn't even let me bring the baby in this morning. They was like, no, you know. We'll just have them call you in the... Yeah, that was nice. Cheese! Say cheese. Just in this last little bit, he started breaking out around his mouth, so... Look, he's just cheese. <laughs> That's his cheese face. Say cheese! Bryson, cheese! <laughs> you are so cute. You are so cute. So, yeah, that's what he's got is the hand, foot, and mouth disease. I just about 100% uh, believe that he does. So, boy, oh boy, do I have a time now. So, what I'm going to try and do now is. Both the boys has been all over him. I've been all over him, so I'm just gonna have to disinfect the house and make sure the boys keep their hands clean. I'm hoping that maybe they just kind of bypass it and didn't get it. So, I don't understand. <laughs> the only place that he has been with other kids is church. And then we left out Monday, last Monday, and we went out of town and took the boys to Toys R Us and stuff, but he never, you know, I don't know. He just never touched like stuff, so I don't know. It's very hard to determine where he's got it from besides church, so I don't know. So I may have to just call church and see if maybe other outbreaks has been, I don't know. Finally, the doctor called, and we've got to take Bryce in at 2 o'clock, so I'm going to try and hurry up and get the living room picked up right quick before we head out, because I've got to vacuum. There's goldfish all over the floor, um, but I explained the rash to the doctor on the phone. Well, it wasn't the doctor. It was like a nurse practitioner or something, but anyways, I explained how the rash is doing on the baby, and um, I told her, you know, this morning, 
It's spread on his hands, going up his arms. Um, since this morning, he's broke out a few places around his mouth that was not there, and it's like they're they're new. And um, I told her around his belly and on his back and stuff is starting to break out. And she's like, "Well, usually around hand mouth or hand foot and mouth, they don't break out on their torso, but." When I looked on the internet, most of all pictures that I see with babies having it, they're broke out on their torso. Um, his rash isn't, by no means, not as bad as what you see pictures of, um, but you can see it. So, and I noticed like when he was walking, he's barefooted. I don't have any socks or shoes on him, just in case it may be like heat or something. Um, when he walks, sometimes he cries and whines, and he, it's like he stepped on something. Like, it's maybe the, the breakout that's on the bottom of his feet is bothering him or something. So, I don't know. But, we're going to find out what's going on with them. If I have to make them do blood work or find out anything that they need to do to find out what's wrong with my baby, I'm going to make sure that because I'm not paying a copay for them to just be, oh, yeah, it's hand, foot, and mouth. I want them to make sure what's going on. So, yeah, we're going to get ready, and we'll have to leave in about 30 minutes, and hopefully the rain holds off, because it's supposed to be some more storms coming in, and we've been having the horrible weather with tornado warnings and all kinds of mess, so maybe the rain can hold off until we get back, so, yeah, let me hurry up and get all this stuff done, mobby duty calls, but we'll holler at y'all later, and we'll get it, this is so irritable. I'll see y'all later. Good morning. We are sitting here gonna eat us a little bite to eat for breakfast. And <coughs> excuse me. I have done got a shower and got dressed for the day. And I have got to Did you just throw a roll at me? You just threw your cinnamon roll at me. He's a hoot, I do. You are a hoot. <laughs> I've got to get the boys ready. Brayden is not here. So all I have today is Bane and Bryson. And mm, he's being silly this morning. So I've got to get them dressed after they get done eating. And now he's squirting milk. What are you doing this morning? I've got to go to Aldi's and get some groceries, and we've got to run to either back to Walmart or maybe to the dollar store. I'm hoping that we can just run to the dollar store, and I've got to go pick up some prenatal vitamins. Yeah, because I forgot them Friday when we were out at Walmart, and I need to start taking them since we just found out that we're expecting. So... I need to start those. So I'm hoping maybe they have some with the DHA in it. I'm hoping. Um, so we're going to go run our little errands and get groceries and stuff. And then I'm going to come back here and tackle this nasty house. And I'm hoping that I feel up to it today. I have been having to take naps with Bryson because I'm fixing to yawn. <sighs> I'm getting exhausted. So... That's, I think, going to be my biggest um, struggle with this pregnancy. So, maybe I can make it through the day. But, um, if I have to stop and take a nap with Bryson, I will do it. Um, but, hopefully, I can get the house at least picked up where it looks halfway decent and not so messy. So, yeah. We're going to finish breakfast, get cleaned up, and... We'll get headed out in a little bit. <laughs> so we're back home from church. After church, we had to run to the store. I had to run to Target because yesterday when we was in town, I tried getting me some prenatal vitamins at the dollar store, but they didn't have the kind that I was wanting to get. So after church, we ran to Target and I got my prenatals. <laughs> Yeah, 
and then we ran to Aldi's and I grabbed just a few things that I was needing that I forgot to get and now I'm currently trying to get my house back in order my in-laws are coming over this afternoon and I'm cooking a dinner for or supper whichever you want to call it but I'm cooking dinner for my husband and um, I guess my father-in-law, I don't know. But we can't go out in the garage, it's hot, okay? This one right here, uh-oh, my battery's about to go dead. What are you doing? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.